out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the silver trim. He scaled 119.4 pounds. His young professional record thus far perfect, three fights, three victories, one of them coming by way of knockout. He fights out of Del Rio, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jesus Pantarita Martinez. Martinez. Okay, guys, I give you instruction in the dressing room. They have a clean match, okay? Good luck. God bless you. Pretty good crowd to start us off in our opening match on before the bell. Jesus Martinez, lots of support here at Boeing Center at Techport, taking on Jose Lopez. Again, a catch weight at 120 pounds, four rounds to start us off on Before the Bell, alongside Chris Algieri, I'm Justin Shackle. Jose Lopez in the Mexican trunks with the black trim going down the side. Jesus Martinez wearing the all-black trunks with the white and silver trim. Has that Costa Zeus style haircut. And Lopez is one of those guys you don't want to let the record fool you. He's 4-2-1. and one. He has no knockouts, but he's got a lot of experience against some pretty tough guys so far. He earned a majority decision win over Robert Rodriguez back in December. And Rodriguez was 10-1-2. And, and that came on the Terrence Crawford, David Advenician card. Martinez doing a good job controlling the center of the ring, keeping Lopez on the outside. Martinez catching him with a left, coming in. Nice little in-and-out counter there from, from Martinez. Little pull back, left hook, right hand combination. Lopez, 24 years of age. Jesus Martinez again turned 18 in January. He's hoping to be active for around five fights in 2023. As he comes forward here against Lopez. Martinez is uh, flashing a snappy left hook so far. He's hooking off the jab well. He's using that sweeping hook, and then sometimes he cuts it a little bit. It's a, it's a pretty effective punch. It looks like it's got some pop on it, too. Ooh. Good two-punch combo. That lands from Martinez. Lopez coming up empty on the big right-handed swing. And they're back in the middle here in round one. And Martinez doing that slick little head roll to make sure that punch didn't, didn't hit him. Looks like it just grazed him, but big swing and a miss there from, from Lopez. Martinez looking a lot lighter on his toes compared to when we last saw him here in June. Yeah, I, I, see, I see big improvement, absolutely, Justin. I mean, he, 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 he's moving much better. He looks a lot more confident. He looks more physical. Yeah, I, I like what I'm seeing from, from Martinez so far. Martinez trained by Robert Garcia. He's managed by Darren Barker and Joe Calzaghe. Oh, and he catches Lopez with a counter right hand. Now angling, and Lopez held on to that right arm of Martinez. And the sneaky little right hand right down the middle split the guard of Lopez as he was coming in. Combo thrown by Martinez in the final 10 seconds. Jesus Martinez looking very comfortable here in the opening round of Before the Bell. Jesus Martinez controlling the tempo in the opening round, a four-round match. Could be perceived as a sprint to the finish here. Chris, what'd you like? Yeah, I, I liked a lot of what Martinez was doing. His movement was very good. He was very sure on his feet where he wanted to go. He was, he was showcasing the right hand and the left hook throughout, landing some nice clean shots on Lopez in that, round, in that first round. Robert Garcia in Martinez's corner. So Robert Garcia 
in the corner for the very first fight of the night. He will be in the corner for the very last one with Bam Rodriguez against Christian Gonzalez later here in San Antonio. Robert Garcia, one of the busiest men in boxing. When I work these shows, I'm always like, oh, Rob, you're here, you're here, you're here again? Yeah. Ooh. Lopez trying to spoil Martinez's perfect record and coming in at 4 2 and 1. He's the Mexican. Lopez landed a good left hook to the body a few moments ago. Another right handed attempt as Martinez falls to the floor. Leaning on Martinez was Lopez. Lopez earned a draw in his pro debut back in 2018, and he followed that with a loss to Emmanuel Rodriguez. He didn't pick up a win as a pro until he was 13 months into his career. I'm sorry, that's why that nickname sticks, self-made. Mm -hmm. He stuck it out. Oh, he pumps a big right hand to the body of Martinez. Comes back with a left hook. I like the adjustment Lopez has made. He's, he's targeting the body now. That was a nice little right hand shuttle punch there, sh sh shuttle punch there that caught. Martinez in the body. He's having trouble landing to the head. You saw those those little movements from Martinez that roll with the shots. So now Lopez is targeting the body and doing so effectively in round number two. Martinez caught him. He met him with a left hand upstairs. Martinez did a good job of setting traps. He's, he's pulling away as Lopez is being aggressive. He's, he's, he's using that 3-2, that hook right hand combination just like that to have Lopez walk into shots. You know, one thing we're watching for here with Jesus Martinez, he gets into rhythm, gets in a flow, had great success in the first round. You see him punching with Lopez, but we've also seen him become a little overconfident in his very young career. He admitted so. He says, yeah, I, I could be overconfident at times. It's something that he needs to learn to, I guess, manage better. Yeah, I think he's, uh, you know, he, he, like we talked about from the open, he's learning on the job. He's so, so young in his, in his career. But I, I'm seeing him be smarter than usual tonight. I think he's staying very composed and within himself, and he's utilizing it, what's working and building off each. Ooh, big Lopez right with the right hand. We saw Jesus Martinez take on Kevin Monroy here in June of last year. Monroy dropped Martinez in the third round of a four-round fight. Martinez came back, finished really strong in that fourth round. And here he's in a battle in the second round with Jose Lopez. That's a tough thing about a four-rounder. Oh, a right hand turns the chin of Martinez. Oh! And a left hand to the belt by Jose Lopez. Trading big shots here. Jose Lopez with a very good comeback round in the second. Here we see that combination that I was talking about from Martinez as he backs out, he throws that hook right hand combination, which has been effective throughout. There we saw a body shot and left hook upstairs as well. And Lopez pressing, 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 trying to close that distance. There lands a nice overhand right that partially catches Martinez on the chin. There's another one, that one a little higher on the head. Lopez coming on a little bit in that, in that second round. I still gave the round to Martinez, but. Jose Lopez has won three in a row. All for a fourth straight win here in Texas. It's the sixth different state that Lopez has fought in as a pro. Road Warrior. And originally from Mexico, lives and trains in Queens in New York City. And there may be a tape issue on the glove of Jesus Martinez as we begin round three, scheduled for four, and our opening bout catch weight at 120 between Martinez and Lopez. Ooh, nice feints there from Martinez. There's another one. That, that shut Lopez off. It's nice to see a young fighter doing such advanced moves. The hook off the jab, the feints, the in and out movement. Oh! They both exchange left hooks to the body. Big right hand from Martinez upstairs. Yeah. Martinez needs to be careful trading hooks on Lopez. That, that Martinez left hook is getting a little bit wide here in these last couple of rounds. You don't want to get caught trading hooks with a guy like combo Lopez. From Jesus. Oh, 
Left hook upstairs by Panterita. It means little Panther in Spanish. Lopez continuing to come at the 14-time amateur national champ. Big swings and misses from Lopez. Yeah, Martinez is using nice movement. He's not wasting any energy. He's tying up when it gets too heated. Lopez trying to close the distance here against Jesus Martinez. They move back to the center of the ring. Oh, right hand grazing the chin on Lopez. Oh, Martinez connecting, but Lopez fighting back hard. Both men landed really good right hands. They are punching with one another. That's been the case throughout the fight. Less than a minute to go here in round three. Martinez looking up at the clock. That right of hand might have had an effect. Good right hand again for Martinez. A lot of holding in this round. What does that tell you between two young fighters? I mean, it, it could just because Lopez is very aggressive and Martinez is not physically strong enough to keep him off him. But also, he could have been affected by some of those right hands that he may be holding to, uh, to catch his breath a little. Right hand that may graze the back of the head of Pantorita. Yeah, it seemed like a ricochet off the shoulder. Yeah. Final tag in round three. Another quality right shot from Jose Ooh. Lopez. And a left hand upstairs by Lopez. More good head movement from Pantorita. Excellent exchanges in round number three between these two 120 pounders. Martinez and Lopez right now. Coming up next, big stepper, Khalil Ko, trying to take a big step in 2023. It's more the Dodgers hat, though. This is a New York kid. Trains in Brooklyn. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder what that's about. We got we to ask yeah. him when we see him next gonna have time. to have a word with Khalil. <laughs> Khalil Ko will be taking on Jimmy Queter of Chicago. Six-round match, light heavyweight Ko. Podium star as an amateur. Coming off a very productive 2022, led by trainer Eric Roman, trying to get going here in 2023 and continue this quality progress in his young pro career. Here, fourth and final round between Martinez and Lopez in our opening bout. Martinez in the black trunks. Oh. Lopez coming out swinging to start the final round. This has been a good scrap between these two young guys. Martinez is definitely showing some improvements, some new, new wrinkles to the game. Lopez, I mean, stern challenge, bringing it every round. Not a knockdown there. Oh. Back up, and another right hand blitzing Martinez. Big right hand again from Lopez as Martinez was coming in. Neither men known for their punching power. Only one knockout between the two of them. That happened in Martinez's last fight. Lopez looking for his first career KO. And you wonder if Martinez, as he eats a right uppercut from Lopez, is going to try and box around that right hand in the closing two minutes or so. Not easy right round to score, Justin. These guys are really going back and forth. Both are doing great jobs, but neither separating themselves from the other. Yeah, they, they, they each have spurts. Which is just basically just based on activity. It's like it's back and forth. Whoever's whoever's working is winning. Hey, you're coming away impressed from both fighters. There's not a large margin though right now. It should be interesting to see from how the judges score this. Remember in Texas, I remember this from Ammo Williams when we were la here last year. Texas judges, what do they look for? Who's controlling the pace? That weighs heavily on their scorecards. I mean, if, you, if you're talking about aggression it's definitely coming from lopez he's trying to punch on the inside Ooh, big overhand right and there's been a lot of holding on the inside mostly initiated by martinez on, 
Lopez overhand having, right again from Lopez. Lopez is having a good round. He's landed some really nice right hands. He finished strong in his last fight against oh. Robin Rodriguez. That was a majority decision. He did just enough in that final round for the judges in that four-rounder. Is he doing enough in this four-rounder? Meets him with a left hook, does Lopez. And Martinez is getting a little sloppy here. Lopez landing the quality shots at a higher frequency in the fourth round. It looks like the physical strength of Lopez is starting to show itself. You know, he's older. Martinez only being 18 years old. That man strength is starting to come, is starting to become apparent. Can Panterita close off the final 30 seconds oh. with a step up here? Yeah, Lopez has had a very consistent round. Hasn't been the prettiest round, but it's been effective for Lopez. Good body shot there. Martinez working downstairs, but Lopez, self-made. Oh, may have closed the show in this four-rounder. Good scrap to open up before the bell. Yeah, very, very good scrap. I, I want to see both these guys again, honestly. Even, even, even Lopez. Jose Lopez did a great job in rounds two and four. Left no doubt in round four. Yeah, Maybe. round four I think was the most obvious round of someone who, you know, who was able to control. I think round one was pretty obvious for Martinez. Round four was pretty obvious for Lopez. It's really going to come down to how the judges saw those middle rounds two and three. I could easily see a draw. I was about to say that. So we'll see what happens. This is the third time that Jesus Martinez has fought at Tech Center, or Techport Arena. He's won his previous two, showed a good performance here against Lopez, but we await the judges' scores and the official decision. Martinez, Lopez impressing in the opening bout here on Before the Bell. Let's make it official with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds here in San Antonio, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Sergio Calles, 39-37, Lopez. Dave Moretti, 39-37, Martinez. Ellis Johnson scores this contest. 38-38, we have a split draw. So a split draw in our opening bout between Martinez and Lopez. Chris, no arguing there from me. I don't know about you, but a split draw, pretty appropriate. No, I, I had it a draw. I, I 